Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today I've got Magnemite for you. Now, I've gotten a few comments that are like, Garrett, all you ever do is print these tiny, useless things. Well, I've heard you. So today, we're going to be printing a giant, useless thing. Friggin' look at this thing. It's huge. I took a page out of Joel's book. And actually, before I get into talking about this model, um, there is something I wanted to talk with you guys about. So recently, this channel just passed 3,000 subscribers. And I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, it really means the world to me that you guys like my content enough to keep coming back. So thank you guys so much. And I did something special with these Magnemites uh, to help celebrate. I'll talk about that in a moment. But before I do that, I wanted to shout out a couple of smaller YouTube channels. Some of the 3D printing YouTube channels that are quite a bit bigger than mine have mentioned me along the way and I wouldn't be here without their help. So I figured I would try to do the same. And there are two channels that I think are great and that I just don't think they're getting the views that they deserve. I will put the links to these channels down in the description. Um, if you could go check them out, that would be great. If you enjoy what they're doing, make sure you subscribe um, and leave a comment letting them know I sent you. But the first channel I wanted to shout out was Nolan C 3D Printworks. He does some really fun 3D printing projects like a full-sized ET that he's even putting electronics in. Um, it's really cool. Definitely check it out. And he's also got a Robo 3D and uses some Hatchbox filaments. So we're brethren in that respect. And then the second channel I wanted to shout out was Print 3D Channel. This channel is run by a super nice guy and he does um, product reviews, unboxings, and um, just random prints every once in a while. And actually just a few days ago he um, printed off my Babam model. So definitely check them out in the description, go show them some love, and help build the 3D printing community here on YouTube. Okay, so back to Magnemite. Now I mentioned I was doing something special, and that is true and that's actually why I have two of them here. So first of all, when I was creating Magnemite, I thought how cool it would be to have just a giant, basically life-size Magnemite. Um, and that's what I set out to do with this. But in the process of that, I realized that we'd be hitting 3,000 subscribers soon. Um, so I figured what I would do is um, print off a smaller one and try to paint this one myself. Obviously with the help of my wife. Um, but all this was in an effort to, one, to kind of learn her process and hopefully make my prints a little bit more friendly to her post-processing techniques um, and cause her less work in the long run. And two, to kind of bring this process to you guys. Because I've touched on her process in the past videos, but I've never really gone in depth. But long story short, I will be making a two-part video um, detailing everything that it took to create these guys. And these videos should be going up within the next week or so, um, so make sure you're subscribed to catch those. But if you're watching this in the future and I've already released those videos, I'll put the links up in the little eye here and um, down in the description. So make sure you check those out. And part one is basically going to be a full walkthrough of modeling and printing this. So I'll try to take you through my thought process of finding reference images, planning out what I'm going to do, and actually modeling this thing then slicing it up and sending it to the printer. And then part two is going to be my wife's post-processing techniques to get um, something that looks similar to this. Now obviously this information is going to be relayed through me, so um, it won't be perfect, but definitely check out those videos when they're out because um, I think this is something that'll help people that are just getting started. Okay, so here's the final result of the smaller one that I painted. Um, it went pretty well until I had to actually break out the paintbrush and paint its eye. I am awful with a paintbrush. But I'll show you some close-ups of this so you can see what I'm talking about. But overall, it didn't come out that bad. I'm pretty happy with it for being my real first attempt at um, painting one of these. And this was actually printed... Wait, hold on. Uh, you guys better brace yourself for this. Uh, this is a channel first. This was printed on the DaVinci 1.0 Pro in ABS. Completely breaking the mold, that's right. Uh, no Robo 3D and no Hatchbox White PLA. But don't freak out too much, I haven't betrayed you. This was printed in Hatchbox White PLA on my Robo 3D. Whew, saved myself on that one, right? It was getting kind of scary there for a second. But um, this was actually finished by my wife. As you can tell, it looks much better. And um, this is pretty much a life-size Magnemite. It's pretty close to the actual size. I couldn't really find whether his height included the screws and everything like that. So I basically just uh, went with as big as I could print on my printer, and this is it. I am so happy with the way this came out, and I can't wait to put this on my shelf and just have a life-size Magnemite staring at me all day. Alright guys, well, I will leave it at that. I really hope you enjoyed this model, and if you print one, tweet me a picture. I'm at Chaos Cortec. I love to see when you guys use my models, um, and as you can see, it can be scaled to a lot of different sizes and work just fine. And then make sure you check out the process videos for these coming soon. 
Um, and once again, thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers. You guys mean the world to me, and honestly, you guys give me hope for a better future. So thank you very much, and I will see you next time.